Hey guys, it's Ashley from Fandroid.com and I'm taking a look at the Amazon Fire TV controller that released with Fire TV on Wednesday. Now, the Fire TV is not billed as a gaming device like the OUYA was, but it does have some of the more popular Android games available like uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition and Asphalt 8. And Amazon is obviously making an effort towards gaming because they've introduced their own exclusive title called Sev Zero, which is kind of a mix between Sanctum on the Xbox 360 and uh, the Gears of War third-person shooter series. So, the first thing that you'll notice about the design of the controller is it has media keys here, just like the OnLive controller did. That's just lifted straight from their playbook, which, it's a good thing. I mean, depending on whether you want to use just the basic uh, controller that came with the box or be able to use this to do everything, including gaming and controlling your media. The second thing that you'll notice is has a battery bump and I know this is a contentious feature for a lot of people that use controllers because with the Xbox One uh, Microsoft managed to get rid of the bump uh, this was a feature that was held over from the 360 and while a lot of people complained that it got in the way I didn't really feel that it got in the way but of course I have smallish hands so I mean I it's kind of cramped I mean I don't I don't know if you have larger hands than my small girly hands, you would probably have a problem with the battery bump there. Um, as for how the controller feels, I would compare it to a third party controller made by Nyko for uh, the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4. It's light enough that it doesn't have a premium feel to it, and the button presses, they're, they're nice, but they can be kind of sticky. And the analog sticks uh, they just feel really stiff when comparing uh, the Xbox One or the even the, the PlayStation 4 here. So, um, it's something Amazon will definitely work on, I'm sure, as they iterate this device as they have with the Kindle. Now, I don't have an OUYA controller to compare this to, which is obviously the most glaring uh, comparison here. But, I will say that Amazon has created something that the OUYA team failed to get right. The OUYA controller is just atrocious. Uh, the touchpad barely works half the time, and the buttons feel really sticky, the analog sticks are, they have a really big dead zone on them, it's just, it's not a good controller, and that's probably a lot of the reasons why gamers haven't really considered the OUYA to be a contender, not just aside from the games that they offer, but that the controller that you use to interface with these games just isn't that great. Now, in terms of playing with Amazon's controller, um, I played about an hour of Sev Zero, and the controller, it feels pretty good in hand. I mean, like I said, the, the battery bump down here doesn't bother me, but if you have larger hands, it might bother you. Um, the analog sticks are pretty stiff. The biggest problem that I noticed was there was a bigger dead zone than I was used to when either using the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4 controller. So, uh, fine-tuning your aiming for a game like uh, Sev Zero or Dead Trigger or any of those mobile shooter games might feel a little bit awkward with this controller. I mean, overall, it's a pretty solid effort from Amazon. Um, they've attempted to provide a controller that is both familiar to gamers and feels comfortable for all hand types. If anything could be improved, I would definitely say the analog triggers, or the, the lack of analog triggers, because these are just buttons here. The lack of analog triggers and uh, the stiff analog sticks are probably the biggest things that hold it back in terms of gaming. But we'll have our full review for Amazon Fire TV up soon, and be sure and check that out. Thanks!